So as some of you know, I try and make a video about once a week doing whatever kind of random adventure stuff I get up to. So today, I can't really do much. For those that don't know, um, I live in Chilock, British Columbia, Canada. And we have recently experienced some pretty intense flooding, which has kind of trapped me in this town. I don't need to go for most of my stuff anyway. Um, and I'm personally safe, I got food, gas, all that kind of stuff. But a lot of people are struggling quite a bit more than me. And some of the farms around here have been devastated. Like, just totally wiped out by the flooding. Right where I'm at right now was about four or five feet underwater. The, maybe even higher than that, the water was almost to the bottom of the highway bridge here. You can just see how much driftwood has folded up here. So by saying that, any sort of activity revolving me getting into this water or any of the lakes around me isn't really happening anytime soon. Um, there's a, I can get to Harrison Lake, but because of all this flooding, the water visibility is just atrocious. Um, so I'm not going in there anytime soon. All these rivers are way too dangerous to go up um, and be in. So there's a pump house a little ways that way. And at any moment, they could discharge into this river and cause a whole bunch of problems. <laughs> so even right now, the communities around me are getting evacuated by boats and helicopters because you just can't get up here. There's a boat zipping by right now. That's pretty incredible too. Really not too sure where they're going. So I'm staying out of the river. I'm in a decent place, safe place right now. But you really shouldn't be doing crazy stuff like that because like I said, there are people that are in pretty serious need of getting rescued. Ah, so I won't be making any full length videos of me diving anytime soon. I can't even get to the ocean. So I'm under highway one right now. This road about, I don't know, 10 kilometers or so that way had about 10 feet of water on top of it or so. Just wild. So I can't even get to the ocean um, without a lot of effort at least. <laughs> but yeah, so it's pretty cool just walking around, seeing all the stuff here. Like I said, this was all underwater. Just wild. I don't even know when I'll be able to get to uh, the ocean. It's kind of restricted for emergency travel only, well, for good reason. Um, yeah, it's just wild out here. Oh, it's so, so like torn because the adventure explorer part of me really wants to go see what's in there. Like I can, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see like a gas jug in there. All sorts of random stuff that's washed up that are, just came down the river. And the current's not really that fast here. So I could just like cut across right there and climb onto the logs and stuff. It's not safe, so I don't do it. <laughs> but it's something I do do sometimes, so. It's tearing me inside a little bit because it's kind of something I'd like to do and film and kind of see what kind of crazy stuff's in there and obviously get stuff like the gas jug out of the water because who knows if that's just full of gas and don't need even that going in the water. Right now, there's so much stuff in this river. One more gas jug probably won't make a difference, but if you could keep it from happening, you better. So, yeah, so let's walk around, see what kind of other stuff I can find. Got a pretty good pocket of fishing floats. Ugh, but that's just wild. So if you need firewood, like, damn. <laughs> Can't really drive here though. I had to walk a little bit. But this will open up sooner or later. Oh, what other kind of stuff we got in here? So I don't think I said, but there's actually a couple uh, houses, unfortunately, that got washed away down the river. Some trailers and stuff, so that's probably from one of them. That really sucks. So it's unfortunate. But when it rains it pours, literally. It's never full. I mean sometimes, but it's almost never full. <laughs> <sighs> Got some high performance penetrating lubricant. Oh, it's full. Huh. Ah, you can always use some lubricant, you know. <laughs> I'll take that home with me. That's not good for the river either. Normally, I have to be my kayak to 
pick all these floats up along the river. Oh, it's just crazy how high the water came up. Just wild. Oh. I would say this is probably among the safer activities that I do, to be honest. But I should have brought in a bag. I don't know why I didn't, because my pockets are full. And I'm not taking too much stuff. What's this? Mold and stain remover. I'll just come back here with the bag. There's so much stuff down here. It's just incredible. Just stuff and floats in my pockets. It's kind of the only thing I'm really doing. But I should pick up some other stuff. Lots of flip flops and bottles. And Ball. More floats. I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry any more floats. Should have brought gloves too, actually. <laughs> oh, let's go go for a walk. But I should know myself better than that by now. I don't ever go for walks. It's always a walk and pick up. There comes roofing back down now. <laughs> you know what's funny? I almost always find bags when I do this kind of stuff, or buckets or something. And I've yet to find one. Just everything else. More clothes. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna walk. I could walk like a few kilometers that way. We'll see. So I think one of the favorite things about where I live, I don't really have to worry about snakes or alligators, nothing like that. Because this is some like serious snake and other critter territory. <laughs> a little bit north from me, they do have some rattle rattlesnakes, but ugh, not around here. It's too wet and cold for them, which is good for me. <clears throat> what in the world is this going to be? I want to know? That's actually just a bag. That solved all my problems. That is hilarious. Why is there a bag wrapped up like that though? Huh. Like there's, there's nothing in it. But I don't understand people. But perfect, drop a bag. More floats. <laughs> I think this is a fire extinguisher. Ah, oh, another float, mystery container. Tire seal, instant tire, tire repair. That probably is not too good for the river either. So, in the bag she goes, bottle of something. Bubble bounce, bubble bath. <laughs> yeah, we'll go throw that out. That's funny. Champagne Dreams bubble bath. More stuff that's really not good for the river. But this is probably all from someone's house, so 
This is like the only time it's acceptable to find this kind of stuff in the waterways. So maybe not acceptable, but understandable why there's this kind of stuff in the river. That sounds a little bit better. And kicked it. Oh, it's inside. Like that's so weird. Why? Why? An angel figurine with a laser pointer hot glued to it in this in the river. I don't comprehend or sorry flashlight not laser pointer. What the heck? Someone explain. Mystery chemicals. I don't even know what that can you pronounce that? Net oyant? Netoyant? I'm an idiot, it's the French side. <laughs> Multi-surface everyday cleaner. <laughs> Woo. Okay. It's been a little while since high school French. <laughs> I walked about as far as I can this way. Um I, I could get muddy and go through there, but I'll do that another day. Maybe start a little farther down. Um I'm still finding fishing floats everywhere. But I have a bag now, so as so I balance along here, um, yeah, I'll get some stuff that I left behind because my hands were getting full. And yeah. One thing about walking kind of backwards to what you just did is often I find all sorts of stuff just that was like simply behind something or I didn't see while I walked kind of the opposite direction. So might still find a whole bunch of interesting stuff but this is definitely not easy walking <coughs> yeah. all right we'll see I just walk along the deck on the way back it's kind of getting exhausting look at this golf course it's wild and it's still raining here got another like week of rain coming up here and I don't think that'll do good things, but hopefully it doesn't get too much worse. Yeah, I got a pretty big bag of stuff. This is probably just going right in the dumpster. Maybe look through the floats, grab a couple, but yeah, nice little walk. But again, sorry guys, there's not going to be any diving videos anytime soon, at least for a couple weeks. It's just unsafe for a few areas, and I just physically can't. Like, for those that know it's Highway 1 there, and hasn't been a single car cross since I've seen it. It's, well, the highway's closed, <laughs> so it's obvious. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Wild indeed. All right, guys, thanks for watching this little adventure of mine. And yeah, hopefully I get back in the water soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, that's what I decided to take out of the river today. Just some shit that's probably really not good for the river. Um, I don't know, probably 40 floats or so. And then a weird angel thing in there. And then uh, some bubble bath too. I left a ton of stuff. Um, I just, I don't know, picked up some stuff. It's better than nothing. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff down here. So maybe on a nicer day when it's not raining or cold, come back down here and pick up some more trash, like all the cans and bottles, but for now, it's better than nothing, so, yeah.